Hi guys, Rob from GrooveUser. And in this video, I want to show you how if you're building a website in Groove Pages and you want to use your own domain, how you can secure that domain so you've got encrypted data and your customers see uh, that your site is secure and that their data is encrypted when using your website. Now, you might have noticed when you visit a site, um, if you look at any browser that you're using at the moment, uh, you'll see like a padlock up in the corner, closed padlock, that means the site is secure. Uh, sometimes you'll see HTTPS, depending on the browser that you use and the platform you use, it may be in green, it may be in gray. Um, and if you use a website, if you visit a website that hasn't um, got encryption, you'll either get a pop-up notice giving you a warning, or it may be a red cross or a, a red padlock or an unlocked padlock, something like that just warning you that your data is potentially at risk. And obviously when we're building our sites in Groove Pages, we wanna make sure that our customers are, uh, their data is protected and it makes our sites more credible as well. Groove Pages are gonna be including uh, SSL security um, certificates in all uh, web pages eventually, but for now we need to use a free service called Cloudflare. So I'll show you how to set that up. It only takes a few minutes. So if we head over to cloudflare.com, so that's C-L-O-U-D-F-L-A-R-E.com. If you haven't got an account, then you just uh, do sign up, click sign up here, just give an email address, create a password and you're in. If you've already got account, an account like I have here, you log in. Now if it's your first time you've, you've used it, it will say you currently don't have any websites. So that's fair enough click to add a site and the site I'm going to add here, I'm going to type in the domain name and click add site. And then it will come up with another screen asking you to select a plan. Now, obviously I said this is free. There are paid options, but we don't need those for this. Click on the free plan. Okay. And click confirm plan at the bottom. And what that will do now, it will search your uh, domain for existing DNS records. So it will try and find the name servers that you've got already. Um, you don't need to really worry too much about that at this stage. Um, when it comes up with this next screen, just click continue. And if you haven't got any records on there, it will come up with this message uh, saying it's best if you set up your records now, just click confirm. And then it will take you through to this screen, which is the next step we need to do. And this is what the, the important bit here is changing our name servers. So what it's telling us to do is to log into our registrar account, which is where we've bought our domain name from. Find where your um, name servers are so that you can change them and replace them with the ones that Cloudflare are providing. So it's quite a simple process. So if we go over in this example, I'm using HostGator. The process is the same for any, um, any domain registrar. You just need to find the, the location of that. If you can't find it, either contact support in your uh, particular registrar or um, have a quick look on Google, how to find your name servers or how to change name servers in uh, and then put the name of your, uh, your regist registrar. So in HostGator, I've got the domain I want up here. I've clicked on more, which has opened this up for me. And I can see my name servers here on the right. And if you look back at Cloudflare, it's already scanned and picked these up. So I know that these are the two that I need to change. Okay, up here. Um, now I can click, if you're dependent on your registrar, I can do it directly from here. Or if you're in a different registrar, you might wanna click on name servers and you'll get two boxes name server one and name server two and these are the two that we need to change so the first thing we do we go back over to cloudflare under name server one it gives you a name here now to make sure you don't miss anything the easiest thing is to click underneath it says click to copy and that copies it to your clipboard head back over to your registrar page and in the name server one box highlight and delete what's in there and then right click and paste the name that we copied from Cloudflare. And then we're gonna do the same for number two. Go back over to Cloudflare, under name server two, click to copy, head back over, name server two box, delete, 
right click, paste that in, and then click on save. Now it'll take a second to save. It will tell you uh, a default notice. It can take 24 to 48 hours uh, to fully propagate these uh, changes, but normally they happen within a few minutes. So uh, that's no problem there. This has come up now, so that's saved. I can go back over to Cloudflare. Now, once you've done that, all you need to do is click this button at the bottom where it says done, check name servers. It will come up with this quick start guide to configure your domain settings. Um, just go through it. Number one, we want to try and make sure this is on full. Just click on full there so that you've got encryption both, both ways. Click save. We want to always use HTTPS. So if anyone types in or goes to a link that has HTTP, it will automatically add the S as well. Make sure that's on, click save. And these last two, we're just gonna leave those as they are. Click save on both of those and it will give you a summary. Click finish. And it says domain transfer complete. And down here, we just need to check uh, do recheck now what it does it will check again to make sure that the name so servers have been updated and it will tell you it's queued up and uh, being rechecked you can check once per hour uh, what i would advise is don't leave this just sitting here if it hasn't um, updated yet the easiest thing to do is to log out of your cloudflare account log back in And where it says active here on the name of your website, click on that and it will come up with an overview. And now it says already great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. And that's it. So your domain name that you've just uh, worked with is now protected with an SSL uh, certificate. So anyone who visits your domain name, once your website's up, you've built it in Groove Pages, they'll get the padlock, the closed padlock, or it'll be green and it'll tell them it's secure. Um, so that's all for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can connect uh, your, this domain name to your Groove Pages account so that when you're actually building a web page or a website in Groove Pages, that what you're building is actually going to be visible when someone puts in your domain name. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Uh, feel free to you know, get, leave us any comments, um, like it if you've enjoyed it, if you found it useful. Uh, subscribe to the channel we're going to be adding lots more how-to guides in the coming weeks um, if you haven't yet got your groove funnels account and played around with groove pages head over to grooveuser.com uh, there's some uh, really good information over there and also if you're interested in uh, some of the other options there's some great bonuses and things so go and check that out as well so i'll see you in the next video where we're going to go through setting up your uh, domain name and connecting it to groove pages i'll see you in the next video thank you